or been been playing baseball. So Kyle, you want to go first? Let's say I've been playing since I was about four years old, and started in t-ball, worked my way up. So probably started pitching when I was around seven or eight. Uh, I'd say the same. Um, since I can remember growing up, I've been playing baseball. My brother, two brothers played it, my dad played it, so uh, since I can remember, I played baseball. I started pitching about the same time Kyle did, uh, seven or eight years old. All right, uh, any other questions? Little kids yes. over there. Question for Andy, how long have you been managing? long time. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, my fourth year here in San Jose. Uh, I love it here. Uh, these guys have been great, but I started me in January. I guess. 15, 15 years? A while, a while ago. Flip for it. <laughs> yes. Remember, he's standing right back there. Gigante is a most welcome friend uh, at our stadium and for our players and for our fans, and we're very grateful that he's here. <laughs> yes. All right, for our two pitchers, your favorite part about pitching? Uh, I'd have to say my favorite part would probably be in the stands charting. <laughs> uh, I'd say probably a one, two, three inning. Maybe my, hold on. Uh, I'd have to say the whole experience. Um, you know, getting ready to that start and then Thunder Bowl came before and then getting in the game, I mean, there's really not much I could. Um, I wouldn't say I had one particular part that I thought was better. Maybe strikeouts, but uh, yeah. that We have time for a couple questions. Yes? Um, so my question is for Bobby Evans. Um, so I was wondering about, like, starting pitchers or relief pitchers that you've um, converted to starting pitchers like for instance Chris Marlowe or like Bryce Vandilla is he gonna be starting or relieving and like how do you decide um, how they're gonna do that? Right, so about the converting relief pitchers to starting pitchers vice versa? Yeah well there's there's a big challenge for us in the minor leagues to convert a reliever into a starter but it does happen I think more often times it really depends on what the player or pitcher needs to work on and if they have the ability to get through multiple innings and they have a health uh, concern that can move them into the bullpen uh, but if a player uh, has multiple pitches and, and arm strength and a, and a sound delivery that can be repeated you'd love to see a guy start as long as he can but but even some of the best relievers in the big leagues you know like a Jeremy Affel you know, went through an entire minor league career and, and much of his early major league career as a starter uh, but ultimately especially with these two guys sitting here um, ultimately, if you can't cut it as a starter, you end up in the bullpen. I think that's really the truth. Here, but, um, don't tell Affeld I said that. Thank you. All right. Uh, time for one more question. Yes? Uh, one of our favorite promotions, like you experienced in the playoff game with the beer batter to it out. So how did you feel when you saw what happened when you struck that beer batter out? <laughs> All right, how did you feel when you struck out the beer batter last year? Uh, honestly, uh, I didn't know what it was coming in when I got here in San Jose last year. And, and uh, I saw how crazy you guys go over it. Uh, and it was funny because it was a pretty big situation in the game. And, uh, I saw everybody lining up at the, at the uh, rails about to run in there and, and striking the guy out. And it was a really cool feeling to strike out, and plus everybody's going crazy. So it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, thank you again for uh, coming up for our season preview event. Again, we've got FanFest coming up.